Hi everyone, today we are looking at P6 Revision Booklet, Topic on Circles. Worksheet 1, Question 1. The figure shows a square and a circle. What is the circumference of the circle? We know that the circum from in the figure we see that the circumference of the circle actually touches the side of the square. So this part here, from one side of the circle to the other side and passes through the center, we know that this is called the diameter. So from here, we know that our diameter is 28 cm. So how to find the circumference? Circumference is pi times d. Pi times diameter. Our pi is 22.7. My diameter is 28. Therefore, the circumference of the circle is 88 cm. Question 2. Find the area of the quadrant. This is a quadrant. A quadrant is made up of one quarter of a circle. So we put one quarter here. Therefore, area of quadrant or one quarter circle would be one quarter times pi, which is 22 over 7. Sorry, our pi here should be 3.14 times pi times radius times radius. So it's 1 quarter times pi. My radius is 2, two meter times 2 meter. And it would be 3.14 meter pi, 3.14 meter square. square. How to find the perimeter of the quadrant? Perimeter means the outline. So I know I need to find one quarter of this arc. So perimeter is first I need to find one quarter of the circumference. So times pi times d plus my two radius. This is 2 meter plus 2 meter. Therefore, it's 1 quarter times pi, which is 3.14, times diameter. diameter. Radius is 2 meter, so diameter is 4, plus 2, plus 2, 3.14 meter plus 4 meter, it is 7.14 meter. So the perimeter will be 7.14 meter. Question 3. A circle has a diameter 14 cm. Find its area. So I know this is a circle. The diameter is 14 cm. I want to find area. Area per, uh, is pi times r times r. This is a d. So radius will be 14 divided by 2, which is 7 cm. Therefore, my area would be pi, 22 over 7, radius is 7, times 7, and the answer is 154 cm squared. Worksheet 2. Question 1. X, W, X, Y, Z is a rectangle, 14 by 30 cm. A semicircle with a diameter 20 cm is cut off find the remaining area of the rectangle. So I know area of rectangle would be length times breadth, so 40 times 30. 40 cm times 30 cm would be 1,200 cm squared. I need to find the area of this semicircle because it is cut off, so I need to find area of semicircle or half a circle would be half times pi times radius. 20 is my diameter, so my radius will be 10 times 10. And it will be 157 cm squared. I want to find the remaining area. That means I want to find the shaded part here. So I take my area of rectangle minus minus 
area of semicircle because the semicircle is cut from it. Area of rectangle minus area of semicircle is 1,200 minus 157. So my answer will be 1,043 cm square. Question 2. A quadrant has been cut from a circle shown below. This is a quadrant. This quadrant has been cut off. Find the perimeter of the figure. To find perimeter, we need to find this outline, which is the circumference, the arc. So it's pi times d for the circle. So to find this, we know that we must take... It's a three-quarter of a circle. So it's three-quarter times pi times d plus 14 plus 14 cm. Therefore, 3 quarter times pi, which is 22 over 7, times diameter. My 14 is my radius, so my diameter will be 14 times 2, which is 28, plus 14 cm, plus 14 cm. So 32 times, 3 times 22 will be 66, plus 28 and the perimeter would be 94 cm. Worksheet 3. Figure below is made up of a rectangle. Can you see a rectangle here? And a three-quarter circle. So this is a three-quarter circle and a rectangle. The radius of the circle is 4 cm. So this radius is 4 cm. This part here is 4 cm. Find the perimeter of the figure. Okay, first we need to find this part. So can you tell me what is this part? This part is pi three quarter times pi times d, right? So which is three quarter times pi. Give your answers in terms of pi. So I leave my pi. My diameter is radius is four, so diameter is eight. So, this part of the perimeter will be 6 pi cm. Now we look at the rectangle. We know this is 4 cm, so this is 4 cm. This part here would be 20 minus 4, so it's 16 cm. So the perimeter of the figure would be 16 cm plus 4 cm plus 20 cm plus 6 pi. So altogether, I would have 40 plus 6 pi cm. That is my answer. Question 2. Figure not drawn to scale is made up of a rhombus. What is a rhombus? A rhombus has all sides the same. With a center O, AB is the diameter, which is 42 cm. So I know this whole thing from A to B is 42 cm. This part here is 42 cm. AC is equal to CD is equals to BD, which means 1, 2, 3 unit is 42 cm. Therefore, 1 unit will be 42 divided by 3, which is 14 cm. So I know this is 14, this is 14, this would also be 14. Okay, so now I want to find the area of the unshaded part. So unshaded part means I need to find the area of a circle minus the triangle. So let's find the area of circle. Pi times R times R. My pi is 22 over 7. Let's look at my radius. 
my diameter is 42 therefore my radius will be 42 divided by 2 which is 21 cm so area of circle will be 22 over 7 times 21 times 21 and it is 1386 cm square let's look for let for the area of triangle, can you see this is a triangle? Isosceles triangle. Okay, let's identify the base. The base is 14. The height will also be, the height is the radius of the circle, so which is 21. So area of one triangle will be half times base times height. Half times 14 times 21. 147 cm squared. I have two triangle, one, two. So area of two triangle, isosceles triangle, would be 147 times two, 294 cm squared. I find the area of unshaded part. Would be area of circle which is 1,386 minus 294 which is 1,092 cm squared. Worksheet 4. Find the perimeter of the figure below. Perimeter means I need to find the outline. Let's look for this outline. This is a semicircle. Sorry. This semicircle will be formula is half times pi times d. So my pi here is 3.14 times my diameter. My diameter will be the whole thing, which is 5 plus 5 plus 12, which is 22 cm. Perimeter here will be 34.52 cm. So this side is 34.52. Let's look at this side. This is a smaller arc. So this would be half times pi times d, half times 3.14. My diameter here is 12 cm. So the answer here is. 18.84 cm. Now I need to find the fig the whole figure. So whole figure means I have to add the I have to this plus this. So perimeter of the figure would be circumference of this small semicircle so it's thirty four point five four plus eighteen point eight four which is this small semicircle plus five plus five so perimeter of the figure would be sixty three point Three eight cm. Worksheet two, sorry, uh, question two. Figure not drawn to scale is formed by two identical intersecting semicircles at ninety degree. So this is ninety degree here. I need to find the area of shaded part. So let's draw a triangle here. You realize that this leaf, this part of the leaf can come over here which will give us a semicircle and a triangle. After we have shifted this part over here, we see a semicircle and a triangle. So how do I find the area of the shaded part? That means I want to find this. I take the semicircle minus the area of the triangle. So area of semicircle 
would be half times pi times r times r. 40 meter is my diameter, so my radius will be 20 meter. Half times pi. Leave your answers in terms of pi. So I leave my pi. Radius is 20 times 20. I will get 200 pi centimeter square. Area of triangle. Half times base times height. My base is 40. My height is 20. Which is 400 cm squared. Find the shaded part. I take area of area of shaded part. I take the semicircle minus the area of triangle. So it's 200 pi minus 400 cm squared. Worksheet 5. Look at the figure not drawn to scale below. AB is 28 cm. So this one is 28 cm, which is our diameter. Divide into squares. Two halves. So I see there's a half here. There's a half here, which is a quarter circle, right? So I want to find the perimeter of the shaded part. So I need to find this part here, this part here, and this part. Now let's look at this. Can you see that I can move this and this is the same? So I can actually move this side of the to this side. So I will see, I will get a quadrant. Similarly, this part, I can move to here. And what do I, what do I get? The perimeter of the shaded part would be actually a semi-circle, a quadrant and a quadrant. One quarter quadrant plus a quadrant, which is half. So I can find the perimeter of semicircle which is half times pi times d my pi is 22 over 7 my diameter is 28 so 22 times 2 will be 44 cm the figure is made up of a right angle triangle and a semicircle. The triangle has a base 8 cm and a height of 6 cm. So I know the height. I'm sorry, my base 8 cm and my height is 6 cm. This is not my base. The base and height of a triangle is always, we always look at the right angle. So this is your right angle. Let me highlight. This is your right angle. Okay, now let's look at, and the semicircle has a diameter of 12 cm. So this is a semicircle, diameter is 12 cm. Find the perimeter of the shaded part. Now first we find the perimeter of shaded part means I want to find this. How to find this? Semicircle. So it's half times pi times d. Half. My pi is 3.14. My diameter is 12. So 3.14 times 6. Times 6 is 8. 18.84. Okay, and let's look at our we have found the perimeter, so we have found the arc here, plus, so perimeter of figure will be 18.84 plus 8cm plus 
six years. cm. So perimeter of the shaded part is 32.84 cm. We have come to the end of the answers, solutions to our circle in our revision booklet. Goodbye.